All right, uh, here's an intro um, to creating a perfect content template. So um, if you're at the point of creating a content template, this assumes that you've done uh, really exhaustive keyword research. Uh, maybe you've looked into competitors and found a content gap, and you've determined exactly what page and what the um, bigger topic is you're after, whether it's, you know, kind of low funnel service product page or it's an educational high funnel blog page or something like that. Um, but what you first need to do before you create your content template is in your keyword list, your really comprehensive keyword list, like we love to do that before. Um, and keyword research is something that you always want to refine and go back to time and time again, especially as you're trying to go after new relevant traffic. But put in all the keywords that you're targeting for the specific page. So for this example, I have them all right here. And what I've done, you're looking at a completed content template. Um, and this is the framework right here, the template itself. Um, we just have the, the sections of the content. And what I've done is I've gone one by one, looked at these keywords, and tried to understand what's the intention, what exactly is the person looking for that's searching for this, and then have that reflect up here. So some of these, um, uh, keywords right in here are like pretty much word for word in my template. Like um, I believe we have a design. If I go in here, let me search the design. Home meditation room design. Um, yep, it's right here. So I have a whole section on home room meditation room design. But then I have uh, like meditation corners. Um, there is a keyword on corners here right here meditation corner at home so what I'm trying to do though is not just like putting in these keywords up into this content and just regurgitating it I'm trying to actually take some time to consider like hey how could I fulfill this person's intention like meditation corner at home what is it they're looking for do they want to see some images do they want a how-to guide of creating that all these different things. So that's where I come up here and say, okay, how to create one, what to include, and we might actually end up adding even more. But I can then check off that keyword and I highlight it in green. Okay, great, it's it's fulfilled right here. And I, again, I didn't just regurgitate these keywords and put them up here, but I created a prompt either as a question or as a title and then broke it down a little bit further. So naturally what's gonna happen is these are probably gonna be your H2s uh, maybe H3s, um, it's just kind of those subtopics or like sections here um, to kind of round out this entire content. Uh, but then you can see I've just got things in here where it's like, okay, why meditate at home? And I'm just saying like, hey, let's let's touch on uh, mental health benefits, um, you know, for stress alleviation, uh, for flexing that patient's muscle, anything like that. So as you look through this, I'm really just trying to figure out what would make this really rounded, really complete, and then really useful, obviously, for the reader. Um, but ideally, yeah, what we're trying to do is like rank for all of these terms so we have to have really good content within this page.